Hey everybody, this is Blake from Pumpkin's Pool, and I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to get started staking with Solana. Now this is assuming you have Phantom Wallet. This is probably the most popular wallet. Um, if you don't, you can go ahead and go here, phantom.app, the official website. Go ahead and click download, and you'll see the browser extensions right here. Uh, for Phantom, there's also a really good mobile app you can use as well. And once you have that installed and set up, you should see it right over here. You should be able to click on it and see your current Solana. Now, I've done this a couple times um, before doing the tutorial to make sure I understand this. So if I click on Solana, you can see that I'm staked with Pumpkin's Pool already. This is querying an RPC node, and I have two stake accounts. Now, if I want to add more stake to my stake account, what I can do is just go back to my balance here. Um, pick a validator. Now currently Pumpkin's Pool is ranked number one, uh, but these shuffle around a bit naturally with, with the skip rate on Solana and the differences in APY. So if you'd like to search for Pumpkin's Pool, you can use the search bar here, or you can pick one of these other validators. And when you find a validator you're happy with, all you want to do is click this stake button right here. So when I click on stake, it's going to bring this up. Now note that I have connected my wallet. There is a button up here to connect your wallet you'll click on phantom so once that's connected you're gonna go ahead and click on stake and it's gonna bring this up um, this shows some stats about the validator that you might want to take into account make sure you know what you're getting into and then you're gonna select an amount using the slider now I'm gonna stake just a small test amount here and go ahead and click stake phantom wallet's gonna pop up we can see this is stakewiz.com this is legit, so I'm going to go ahead and approve that transaction. Let's give it a moment to confirm. It's pretty fast, so let's go ahead and close this, and we're now staked. You can create alerts if you want. Um, these will give you delinquency notices, though. Um, this may be annoying during restarts. I'm not 100% sure that most people want that. So every time we restart for an, up, for an update of any kind, you would be notified. Um, so up to you if you want that kind of notification. It only shows when we go down and not when we go back up, so I wouldn't really recommend this. I would just recommend checking the validator on StakeWiz. Um, but that's up to you. Now, once you're staked, where is our stake? You know, how, what, where did it go? So it goes back to Phantom Wallet, and you can access this from anywhere that you have your browser extension or your Phantom app. So if we click on Solana here, it's going to query the RPC node again, come up with our stake accounts, and you can see now we have three stake accounts right here, and these are all activating on Pumpkin's Pool. Now, if you decide that you would like to move your stake or unstake it and do something else with your money, all you need to do is go ahead and click on that and click the unstake button here. So it's that simple. Now, you may notice that this says activating. It's not actually active. Now the reason that is, is because Solana staking and unstaking happens on epoch boundaries. That is the only time that works. So if you look up here, we're in epoch 326. This stake, all three of these will become active right here at the end of epoch 326. And they'll be active from then on until you decide to unstake them. However, when you decide to unstake them, you will be in the same predicament. You need to wait until the end of the epoch for that to become deactivated. That's pretty much that simple, folks. Uh, another quick note about Phantom Wallet. If you go over here to your collectibles, you should be able to see those in the NFTs you have. Um, a lot of people get burned by scams. So I just want to make a note to anyone, if you see anything here saying that you've won something, uh, you've won a Solana giveaway, click here. That's garbage. That's garbage, folks. It's a scam. Um, if it's not an NFT that you've purchased and something shows up here saying you've won, get rid of it. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, please come to the Solana Discord and we'll walk you through it. But please don't lose your Solana by getting scammed. It happens to a lot of different people. One more thing to note is that you can actually create multiple wallets. So right now I have one here. Um, this is mostly my test wallet, aside from my marinade chef here. I really need to send this to a safer wallet because this is my test wallet. Um, so this is a bad practice. But when you have, 
when you have valuable stuff, folks, I, I wouldn't be connecting that wallet to any old website. I mean, StakeWiz is pretty trusted. Uh, some of these websites that we're more familiar with, like Solana Beach and StakeWiz, that's fine. Um, but anything that seems sus, I would go up here. I would add another wallet. Just go ahead to create a new wallet. Here we go. Brand new wallet. There's nothing in it. Now, if this wallet gets compromised, which does happen a lot to people, um, unfortunately, um, even if you're careful, this can happen. People have been tricked. People get compromised. Your NFTs and your Solana, assuming you have not much in here, is safe. So that it, that would be my other recommendation. Definitely keep two wallets. Now, if I want to go back to my actual wallet where that's trusted, uh, everything is safe here. So assuming that your second wallet, your burner gets compromised, it's not a big issue. So that would be another big tip. Definitely keep a safe wallet and then kind of a burner wallet that you use to play around with and connect to different apps. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, please let me know and have a good day.